Hello everybody, I hope you're all keeping really well at home. Um, today I have a story that I bet a lot of you already know. It is called The Little Red Hen. And you can see the little red hen on the front cover there. She's very busy. Can you see what she's doing? She's planting some wheat. Now today I'm going to get started straight into the story. I get nice and close so you can see the pictures. There we are. Now you sit back and relax and we'll get started with the story. Down the road and over the hills lived a little red hen. She lived in a farmyard with the farm dog, the farm cat and a big fat pig. <laughs> One day, the little red hen was out walking. She found some grains of wheat. She gathered them up and carried them back to the farmyard. Can you see the grains of wheat at the bottom of the picture? Who will help me plant this wheat? She asked. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the big fat pig. <sniffs> then I shall do it myself, chucked the little red hen. And she did. And you can see her planting the wheat all by herself. Now look how big the wheat has grown. The little red hen cared for the wheat until it grew tall and golden. Who will help me cut the wheat? she asked. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the big fat pig. <laughs> well, not very helpful, are they? Then I shall do it myself, chucked the little red hen. And she did. See, she's cutting all the wheat all by herself. Now, who will help me carry this wheat to the mill to be ground into flour? Asked the little red hen. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the big fat pig. You can see they're all lying up. They're not very helpful, are they? Then I shall do it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. There she is with the wheat on her back. And she's heading to the mill to grind the wheat into flour. The miller ground the wheat into flour and put it in a sack. And the little red hen dragged the sack back to the farmyard. Who will help me carry this flour to the baker to be baked into bread? Asked the little red hen. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. You carried it here all right, so you can carry it to the baker, said the big fat pig. Hmm, they're still not being very helpful, are they? And so I shall, chucked the little red hen, and she did. You can see she's bringing it to the baker. <clears throat> the baker made the flour into a wonderful big loaf that smelled of sunshine and poppies, and the little red hen carried it to the farmyard. Who will help me eat this bread? she asked. I will, said the dog. I will, said the cat. I will, said the big fat pig. <laughs> oh no, you will not, clucked the little red hen. I have some new friends coming for tea. And she did. Hmm, wonder who the new friends are. Oh, look. There she is, sharing the bread with the friends that helped her. There's the baker who baked it. And there's the miller who ground the wheat into flour. And the pig and the cat and the dog had to go off without any of the lovely bread. <laughs> and that's the end. <laughs> I hope you like that one, everybody. Thanks very much for listening. Bye.